In this tutorial, we will see how to create isometric circles. So let's start. So this isometric cube is already ready here. For circle, I will go to ellipse. Then I will take option axis end point, axis end. Then just right click and select the option of iso circle. Then give the center point where you want the circle. Now the circle is drawn in top plane. So I want to draw it in right plane. So just press F5. So your plane will change then give the radius. Suppose it is 5. Same way suppose I want to create here also. So again I will say axis end, ellipse, axis end. Then give the center point. Now it is coming. Okay, before that actually axis end, right click. ISO circle then give the center then it is coming in the right so you can change the plane by pressing F5 so it is on left I want it on the top so here you can see that plane has been changed to isometric top give the radius of 5 same way I want to create on left so again ellipse right click ISO circle select the center point and give the, uh, change the plane by pressing F5 so I am on left, give the radius of 5. So in this way, you can create isometric circle on any planes. Then delete the unwanted objects that we created as a reference. So in this way, you can create the object on any plane. And suppose I want to give here an effect like this, on this side. So I will just erase these circles. I will copy this circle at the corner. And same circle I want on this side also, I will erase this circle. So I will again copy, select object, enter, give the base point, give the second point. Now here, these two circles should be connected by a line. So here I will say line. And you have to connect to quadrants. So in the case of isometric circle, quadrants are different. So it is the perfect point to connect. Just select quadrant of this circle to the quadrant of this circle. Then I want to uh, then uh, trim the unwanted object by giving TR as a shortcut for trim. Select the cutting edges. Then press enter and click on the object to be removed. So in this way you can give such a effect to it. So in this way you can create isometric circles in AutoCAD. So thanks for joining. We will stop here.